Now moving on to the markets, the equities markets closed today on a negative note with the all share index depreciating by 0.77%. Well, the depreciation in the index today was as a result of the losses recorded in the share prices of financial and consumer stocks like Zenith, First Bank Homes, Guinness, UBA, Access, ETI, Diamond Bank and Dangote Sugar. I'll be crossing over now to the NSC to join Charles Fakroga, a dealing clerk at TFS Securities and Investment, for a closer look at the market's performance today. Well, hello, Charles. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, thank you. Now, you will agree with me that the market experienced volatility this week. I mean, we've seen it today go down 0.77%. Um, mm -hmm. What do you think the late release of company earnings is responsible for the trend witnessed this week? Yes, um, a lot of expectations. Investors are expecting a lot of earnings reports from the companies, and these earnings reports are not coming. They've been waiting and waiting. And as such, when you are waiting and the expectations... They are not coming. We are bound to experience a lot of volatility. But again, the ones that have released their results, they were not too encouraging. Okay. So the investors are saying, we can't continue to wait. We want these earnings to be released to the market so that we know where we are. But I think, again, it's good for the market, the volatility. If the market does not go up and down, then we won't have room for speculation. So it's a normal market. And a market must continue to go up and down. That gives rise to volatility. And we think the Nigerian Stock Exchange has come of age. Now, when I spoke to you earlier from the figures you gave, it seems the market still experienced very thin volume in trading of bonds. Now, this has been the trend since the market was revived in February. Now, what more can be done to get this market going? Yeah, you are talking specifically of the bond markets. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, the bond market started, and like I said earlier, the enlightenment is ongoing. Investors are still not too sure about the bond market. It starts with a lot of education. And the Nigeria Stock Exchange has really did a lot. And they are still doing. Just this week, a trading session was organized for operators, that is the stockbrokers, to understand the simple mechanism of bond trading. So they will be able to now educate their clients, their investors, so I believe we, as time goes on, we begin to see more increased volume in the bond uh, aspect of the market. It's a matter of time. All right then. Now, March the 26th is the launch date for the issuers portal for companies to put out their earnings report. Now, what do we expect from this, you know, what do we expect this rather to offer the market in the second quarter of the year? In fact, like I said in my opening, the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the management has come of age. That's one aspect of their re regulatory initiative. We are making disclosure very, very easy for issuers, that's quoted companies. The companies can be in the comfort of their office and send their results, send information directly to the market. Now the market can now react spontaneously from that, unlike what we had in the past, where the results will now be sent to quotation and listing, market control, before getting to the market. But with this new portal that is going to be launched, disclosure is guaranteed. Real-time online information to the market is also guaranteed. And that's we will see that the Nigerian Stock Exchange and its management must be commended for that initiative. All right. Now, besides the bank earnings report expected today, what other catalysts do you see for this market in the second quarter? Yeah, like I said, the market has come of age. Regulatory framework are there. The exchange is encouraging brokers to play by the rule. If all that is done... Investors' confidence continually is increasing. We expect a more bullish market for the second quarter of the year. Oh, no. oh, well, before we go, let us take um, a look at your stock picks for next week. <laughs> yes, um, for next week, I will advise investors to take what we call in TFS value stocks. You don't just pick a stock for sake of picking. The stocks must have strong fundamentals. I won't, do, I won't mention any particular stock, but stocks that have strong fundamentals, stocks that have history of payment of good dividend, stocks that have been known, their management have been known for good disclosure, corporate governance. If you put all this together and take a stock on that, those criteria, you are sure to make it in the stock market. 
All right, going back to the delay for, you know, from the um, bank earnings report we're expecting today, you just mentioned something earlier saying, you know, um, the ones that have even been released are really not impressive. Now, um, just your opinion on the issue. What do you think is responsible for this? Yes, there were a lot of expectations. The ones that were released, okay, let me just mention Nigerian Buries came out, 3 Naira, that's good. Nestle came out, that's good. But investors expect more from the financial sector. We expect more. And is this delay is not coming. That is why we are seeing some relapse in the, from the investors' part. They are not too comfortable. They want these results to be out. Because these ones that have come out so, so far are not too encouraging. So we expect that. And that is why we also see some of the prices are coming down in the financial sector. But I believe as soon as the results of these companies come out, investors will be in a better position to make their decision.